Welcome to the tutorial. This time around we're going to talk about our trumpet string and getting it dialed in for a simple buzz. The trumpet string is the one with a floating bridge. The bridge is often called the dog because it tucks in there like a dog in its little dog house. See it's not really attached to the instrument, it's held in place by the string. Now before I get started with the technique or anything, I'll give you a quick rundown. The simple buzz is just like hitting a drum. When your hand goes down, like you have a drumstick in your hand and you're tapping on a drum, that's the same hand motion we're going to do when playing the trumpet for this simple exercise. You'll notice on part of the wheel when I'm cranking it, part of it I'm turning upwards, like through there, and then on the other part of the rotation I'm going downwards. It's that downward motion where I'm going to snap my wrist just like I'm hitting a drum. Now we're going to turn on the trumpet string. I'm going to make sure I'm in tune. I have a tuner off to the side here. In the GC tuning, this one is tuned to D. Excuse me, C, not D. It is a red string in the GC tuning on our instruments, so you can make sure you know you're tuning it to the right note. Now I'm going to try the wrist flick to get a simple buzz. Nothing's happening. So we're going to have an adjustment here. You'll notice we have a violin peg sticking out the top of the tailpiece here that is attached to the string with a little tether. We're going to turn this to tighten the tether. You see the difference it's making here on the string? I'm going to do that flipping motion with my wrist while gradually tightening this tether. A little goes a long way, so be very subtle with it. Hear how it's coming alive? This dials in how sensitive the buzzing is. If I keep dialing it, it gets really sensitive. So I can get more complex rhythms. But for now, just do the simple one. One, one buzz per rotation. If I over tighten it, it gets so raspy sounding. Now it's buzzing uncontrollably. So I'll back it off. So I'll find that sweet spot where it buzzes comfortably, but not all the time. Only when I control it with my right hand. So there you go. That's a simple practice exercise and how to get your trumpet dialed in to accommodate your playing style. One useful thing, maybe turn on the low octave drone. So since I have a C trumpet, I'll turn on my C drone. It was a little out of tune. There we go. And just sit around and practice doing one beat per rotation. If you're doing that one beat per rotation, generally that's the part of the song that you can tap your foot along to. So if you want to keep it simple, just tap your foot and play away. One final word on this exercise. A lot of new players, as they play, they will be okay with getting one buzz per rotation, but it'll drift. In other words, right now I'm hitting it consistently on the downward stroke of the crank. But with sometimes new players, it'll drift, so they're hitting it here sometimes, and then they're buzzing here sometimes, and then here. So it's not really controlled. So that's a good thing to practice and make sure you consistently hit it at the same part of the rotation every time, which is the downward stroke of the wheel. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching the video. Happy playing.